Hello, my loves. Welcome to your monthly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for June 2020. So guys, I am super, super proud to announce my baby sister has started her own tarot channel, Temperance of Tarot. And um, it's so new that if you go to search it, you won't find it. So I posted her channel in my description box below. If you would like to show her some love and support and subscribe to her channel, that would be like super awesome. Okay. Um, she didn't take any guidance from me. You know how siblings are. She wanted to be her own reader, but she is very good. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope everybody is doing well, staying happy, safe, and healthy. So let's get started, guys. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Capricorns, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Capricorns, June 2020, please, Spirit? All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner. Underneath this video, I do choose multiple winners every month, or no, every week, excuse me, every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, crystals. Um, I'm giving away uh, an NIV study Bible, um, super large print. This Bible is amazing. It's one of my favorite Bibles for Bible study. Um, so guys, like, share, comment, subscribe. When you comment, please be sure to manifest what it is that you want in the giveaway, okay? Um, for personal readings, I'm still only taking emergency readings due to high demand. Um, if you would like to book, the link is below. You'll also find my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, uh, in the description box below. I am starting a new series on that channel um, on how to find your spiritual joy while overcoming pain and suffering. So if you want to check it out, that will be below. So Capricorn, let's go over your pre-shuffle message. So th this was kind of rough. Like your pre-shuffle was pretty rough. So what I got here is that for some of you, you left a relationship, you left your home. For some of you, you even traveled, like you even moved to like a different state or another geographical location to be with somebody. And it turned out to be completely a lie, okay? Like this person offered you like emotional fulfillment. They offered you like, they, this person like offered you the sun, the moon, and the stars. If you came towards them, and you're realizing that it was just a lie. It was fake that you were stuck in your head or you had this vision that something was going to be so beautiful, so amazing. And you're finding yourself completely alone and pissed, <laughs> I would assume. You know what I'm saying? So here we have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I feel that maybe you met this person online, possibly. Um, this person may have come off, come off as very honest and maybe pure, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, this person managed to get in your head or Capricorn, you know, this could be, you know, vice versa, guys. You could have had somebody come and move towards you and then just totally drop them, you know? Yeah, we've got wedding here. Somebody here may have been married and left a marriage. This situation involves marriage. Spirit, what message do we have here for my Capricorn? So your higher self popped out. I feel like this person, you know, this third party maybe made you feel really good. They maybe thought, you know, you felt peaceful. You felt like you were going to be a better person when you were around this person. We've got great gratitude here. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Capricorns? Please, Spirit. Action. Somebody here may have promised you marriage. Somebody here may have promised you commitment and stability. Somebody may have said, I will be so thankful if you come and move here towards me that we'll get married, we'll, we'll live together, we'll be together. Like, because contract, yes, yeah, see, prosperity will begin. This is like the Ace of Pentacles here. Somebody here made a really big offer, but it was deceptive. It was deceptive. Somebody here may have been envious of what you had, Capricorn, and tried to destroy it. I think you guys had a reading similar to this recently. Okay, let's see here. So we have the Justice card, Libra Energy, and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. 
So this might be some type of karma that you're facing here. Like you abandoned something and now something is abandoning you type of deal. We've got the hanged man, Piscean energy, and the five of swords. You may have left something behind, given up on something, and it ended up being an empty victory. With the magician here, Virgo, Gemini energy, and the death card, Scorpionic energy, somebody here made something appear in a way that it wasn't and then just totally switched up on you total manipulation brainwashing here we've got the nine of pentacles and the seven of cups and here you are single confused alone and pissed <laughs> like the internet i'm saying like i'd be pissed but yeah like you're single and you're just confused here you're realizing that it was completely an illusion thank you you know thank lord you're okay nine of pentacles is a very independent stable energy so you're okay it's not like you know what i'm saying you're homeless because of this person but i feel that like this is some form of karmic justice though because cap i feel like maybe you left someone behind to move towards this person and now they're leaving you behind um Yeah, something along those lines here. Or maybe this person wanted revenge for something that you did to them in the past. Let's see. So here we have temperance, Sagittarian energy, and we have the four of wands. Okay, so this person offered a peaceful and beautiful new beginning. This person was very... Um, very like a like a like a you know when you speak to people and you get drawn towards them because they're just so peaceful and sweet and kind this person just kind of like built this whole story up this whole beautiful fantasy and then with the ten of swords and the four of cups they ended it and pushed it away okay with the temperance card here it's like this person came in like an angel like an angel offering heaven that's what it is here the door to heaven somebody here came in like an angel offering heaven and then pushed this person away and stabbed them in the back and betrayed them we have the strength card the leo energy and the two of cups this is interesting four of pentacles and the three of no excuse me the six of pentacles and the three of wands this person may have also been in a relationship Okay, this person may have been in a relationship and they withdrew. So maybe this is a situation where one person here said, okay, I'm going to leave my person. And this person said, okay, I'm going to leave my person and we're going to come together. Right. But I feel like this person ended up healing their marriage and then stabbing you in the back. And, and you know, their, their connection is nice and strong. Whereas you, you know what I'm saying, ended up leaving with that six of pentacles, you ended up leaving one situation to move to another. And now you're sitting here like just what happened? My ship was supposed to come in and I'm sitting here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, gosh. All right, let's see here. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides for clarity. For my Capricorns, please tell me about this justice card, please, Spirit. The Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. Tell me more about this Justice card. The Lover's card. So you ended a connection to give to temptation. Or Capricorn, this can be vice versa. Okay, it could be vice versa. So somebody here hit the brakes on a relationship to give in to temptation, and now they're facing justice for it. With the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, excuse me, with the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, somebody here is realizing this. They're, they're laying in bed realizing that they got left out in the cold because with the Chariot card here, Cancerian Energy, they went to move forward. They, they left somebody behind and made a decision to do what was only best for them. Tell me about the hanged man. The ace of cups. Yeah, someone here hit the brakes on something to move towards new love. Five of swords. Somebody here gave up on a connection, cut somebody out. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. And with the magician here, there, you know, someone here manipulated and broke some and broke your heart. Okay. Somebody here made something a made a third party made something appear in a way that it wasn't. We've got temperance under the deck again. Man, this person came in real sweet. Yeah, this person built up a dream of, you know, marriage and happily ever after. They really spun one hell of a tale. It was enough to get in this person's head, to give this person so much wish fulfillment, to get in this person's head that they literally destroyed their life and left. And see, that is that six of wands. For some of you, you literally moved. You moved to a different state. 
you moved out of your house, you left your families, you know what I'm saying? All over an illusion, okay? Tell me about the death card, please. Or again, this could be vice versa, guys. Yeah, and then this person just switched up on you and withdrew. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to stay strong here, guys. You're trying to take control of the situation. I mean, you're doing okay. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, I mean, financially and everything, I think you guys are okay. You're trying to like under, you're trying to just, you're not showing emotion, you know what I'm saying? But you're confused. Like one minute you're sitting here with a family, a relationship, doing well, everything's fine. And the next minute you're like just alone. You went from, you went from having a family, being a father, being a mother, being a wife, being a, 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 a mom, a father, you know what I'm saying? You went from having a family and a lot of abundance to just being alone and confused. Tell me, dazed and confused. Tell me about this temperance card. This person really made an offer, man. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Sagittarian energy. They really made one heck of an offer. Tell me about this four of wands, the two of wands. Yeah, they had a vision. This is, the two of wands is like a vision. You know what I'm saying? They spun one hell of a tail. I gotta tell you. Tell me about this 10 of swords. And then they just dipped. They felt bad. They felt bad. They did. I'll give you, I'll give them that much. They felt bad. But they had to end the dream here. Why? Because with the Four of Cups, they had to push this away. Why did they push this away, Spirit? Because they're in a relationship. They, they, maybe they promised to leave their relate, like you leave yours and I'll leave mine, but they didn't leave. Tell me about the Strength card, please. Temperance, Sagittarian energy, and the world. Yes, yeah, somebody here made up with their person. They reconciled with their person and shut the door. We've got the two of cups here. They took that leap of faith and decided to reconcile with their person. Seven of pentacles. They decided to invest in that connection. And the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. They just, you know what I'm saying? This offer was all talk. It was all talk. Yeah, this was all an illusion. This person like literally wanted to see if you would actually do it. Okay, this person I think just wanted to see if you would actually do it. And when you did, this person pulled back quick. Like, oh my God, this person's serious. They're crazy. Tell me about the six of pentacles. The high priestess, Cancer, Piscean energy. And the hierophant. Somebody here was secretly married or secretly, you know what I'm saying? That somebody here had secrets. They were married. They were in a connection. Wheel of Fortune. Now, this is this is somebody paying karma. This is somebody paying karma. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I feel like your intuition knows. Somebody here's somebody's intuition is telling them that this is my karma. I dropped, you know, my wife, I dropped my husband, I dropped my girlfriend, my boyfriend, the mother of my child, the father of my child. I walked away. I gave up on everybody. You know what I'm saying? I cut everyone off. I thought I was a big shot. I thought I was heading towards success and I ended up getting cut off. So Cap, I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is your person, but yeah, see the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out that this third party ended up sleeping on you. Yeah, this person said everything that you wanted to hear. They gave you everything that you wanted to hear. And, you know, they were successful. They won in, get in, in, in being able to destroy your life. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. There was communication here. Someone was just playing. Knight of Wands. Someone here, I think they just wanted to see if you would do it, if you would leave. You see the star and the seven of wands, the Aquarian energy. They wanted to see how far, how bad you would fight to be with them. This person must be very beautiful. Like, you know what I'm saying? This person may have been very beautiful. Um, you know, you may have met them online. Like I said, maybe, you know what I'm saying? But it's, yeah, someone here just wanted to see how far they could take it. They wanted to see how far they could take it. Guys, I'm so sorry. So, I mean, I don't know if this is you, Cap, or you did this to somebody, or maybe your person just dipped on you to go do this, and now they're facing karma. That's possible too, Capricorn, okay? If your person just left you or left your family behind, it was all for an illusion, and now they're just sitting in some hotel room lost and confused, dazed and confused, like what just happened, okay? All right, guys, I love you. Take care. Bye.